make sure y'all check out my description box this month we are pushing hard so i want y'all to go check out the other ladies that i'm pushing through with the other queens that i'm uplifting you need a team look in that description box check it out and don't forget about my giveaway in order to have a chance to win go to the giveaway video find out what the rules are make it happen i'm announcing the winner on august 15th excited to share this stuff with you y'all y'all know i've told y'all i'm wanting to get better content out to you all things that you all can actually use ah uh, as y'all see i'm pretty blonde and this product has been out for a minute but because i am a professional stylist i'm just like uh, I'm gonna stick to the stuff that we wear that we we can get exclusively and all that stuff right all that jazz but I went back to what I used to use before I became all professional and stuff and that's Pantene I used to use Pantene for colored women and it came in the brown bottles comment down below if you know what I'm talking about hold up first of all <laughs> all wrong if you're not already subscribed Go ahead and hit that button. Subscribe. It's totally free. It's, it's totally free. All you have to do is just have a YouTube account. Like, you don't even have to be a creator. Just hit that subscribe button. Go right next to it. Hit that bell so you know every single time we drop another one. Uh, it's me and my little babies today. It's me. But it's usually me and my little babies. I have Micah, King, Micah, and then my two little babies, Riley and Ryan. King Girls Twins. Hey. But... Go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, share with your peoples, let them know we're giving good content. It's basically, I'm just being authentic and real and showing you what it's like being a single mom out here, creating an empire. That's basically what we're doing out here. Like, let's go get this money, people. Let's get it. But anyways, let me go back and tell y'all back into what we're talking about today. So, um, as you see, I'm wearing these blonde locks right here from Charlie B Styles hair. This is my deep wave hair. I just uh, blow dried it and wand curled it. And I did this about a week ago. One thing that people don't understand and then you try to say, um, some people try to say, oh, it's just horrible hair. You have to take care of your hair. You have to take care of it. It's a must, especially if you color it. So Pantene came out with this new series. I wanna say, at least six months ago it may have been longer than that and i'm just now getting on the bandwagon and honestly i've been using it for a few months now not only on i tried it first on micah because i had lightened his hair and of course i tried all of our products on them and it was just not working when i say our products it was like professional products like the main thing that worked on him was my um the bonding system that i use but for daily use he plays football he goes outside and plays so he's in the sun that's a whole bunch of damage that's going on to his hair and he needed it to be repaired y'all when i use these i said baby i didn't even use it i told him to go use it these oh my god and then i really feel like i just told him to use the co-wash um and this is the shampoo like <clears throat> when i tell y'all i was so pumped like <clears throat> and what really made me do it my friend came over this is why i tell y'all you always have to have the right people on your team like you must have a team but my friend came over she touched his curls she was like friend what are you doing i said girl i am trying to figure it out like i don't know like micah is biracial so he has like the curliest, afroiest hair. And if you don't take care of it, it just, he looks like the Jackson 5 reject, like, yeah. So, he used that, when I tell you, it was like, oh. 
So I started using it on myself, my natural hair, my twins. I started using it on my clients. I started using it in the bundles. And when I tell you, it smells so good. Huele muy bueno. Like, oh my God, it smells so, so good. And when I start using it on my class, they'll be like, oh my God, it smells so good. And I'm gonna insert a, a video here to show you like, I wanted to see what it was like if I just used the shampoo and the co-wash with no products, no styling products at all, not even the gloss that comes from the Gold Series. And when I tell you, oh, baby girl's hair came out looking so beautiful i was like oh my god i didn't even put um i used it on her natural hair because she had leave out and i used it on her extensions and as y'all can see she looks bomb <laughs> like it was so bomb like so today i'm going to use the shampoo and the co-wash and honestly like the co-wash can be used by itself this is a co-wash but i want to get in and shampoo it it's hot out here in texas like if you live in Houston, summer 2019 was low key, like depressingly hot. Like, I'm already a happy person, but I did not want to be outside. Like, let's just scurry back and over to the side. But it was hot. So, all the elements, then football has started. So, we've been outside <clears throat> for at least two hours, twice a week. And it's just time. And then, of course, because I like it, it's time to, you know, put the maintenance on her. So that's what we're gonna do. And first I'm gonna use my Y2 comb. And when you're brushing or combing out your hair, especially if it's dry and it's curly hair, first of all, hair period is supposed to start from the ends, but especially if it's curly and it's dry, you start at the ends and you work your way up. And it's best to use a Y2 comb like this. And y'all see how she's like freely, like pay attention to all of that. And I committed the cardinal sin. I've not been wrapping her up. So I think she looks pretty good for not wrapping her up, y'all. If I shall say so to myself. So I'm just gonna brush her out because when you put water on hair that's tangled, you run the risk of becoming Rastafarian. And this hair is not cheap. So yeah, let's not do that. Let's not mess up your investment. Like, seriously. And I don't know if y'all can hear it, because I can hear it, but I can hear it. And you see, it's not that much, but it's still some, you know. And don't be freaked out. First of all, your natural hair sheds, your extensions are gonna shed. Hold up, let me take this out, y'all. Um, so don't be freaked out if you get some shedding, especially if you color your hair, like, but this is why you need to maintain it because it is, you have chemically changed your hair, you've stressed it out, so you need to show your hair some TLC. And make sure you get the back of your neck. When you're twisting and turning and all that, that causes it to map up. So make sure you're brushing the back of your neck. Sometimes you're gonna have to finger detangle it like I'm gonna have to do right now. So. And be gentle and be patient. You do have to be patient. If you don't have enough patience to do this yourself, get you a stylist. You know, I'm available. Um, I'm gonna teach my daughters how to do this. Show your baby girls what's going on, how they need to do it. You know, but like I said, protect your investment. Like why, you spend hundreds of dollars on extensions. Why would you jack it up? when they could last. Like, all my clients are like, oh my God, this is done. It's done for. Her. And I'm like, girl, if you don't give me this hair, let me brush it out. And then they're like, one of my clients the other day, she was, um, I had taken her extensions out. She had micro links. I had taken her extensions out. And I was like, um, you want me to put your extensions in the bag or whatever? And she was like, no, what am I gonna do with that? I said, girl, you can reuse this hair. If you don't brush it or something like that, anything. And then, um, I don't know how we got to the point of this, but I ended up making clippings for her right there on the spot. She's just waiting. She was like, oh my God. 
So she was like pleasantly surprised that I was able to make her some clipping. So talk to your stylist. And that's another reason why I love doing um, hair is because <laughs> we're changing lives out here. Like seriously, changing lives. See like right here from the rubber band. So just take your time, loves. It'll be okay. And don't use a small tooth comb if you don't want him to keep hair on your head. <laughs> Y'all see how big this comb is? Like, and I'm gonna wanna keep the hair in there so y'all can see how much actually has come out because some people like freak out. Oh my God, my hair is shedding. Like, it's going to shed. As long as it's not alopecia types of chunks coming out, you're good, boo. We are hot and sweaty and then it dries up. Like, so you just gotta make sure you're good. not bad all right so now that I am all fresh out, I'm gonna hop in the shower and man I'm loving this I'm just not loving the fact that it's dry so guess what we got to do boo? guess what we have to do honey child shampoo and conditioner I don't want to be like kind of like you like this I wanted to curl it we shall see how I feel. Yeah. Now, I know some of y'all probably wondering, like, boo, like, how do I fix my lace and all that type of stuff? If you have enough um, adhesive and enough layers of adhesive, you should be able to get under here and, like, clean up. Not under it, but get on the edges. You have to be very, very careful because I really try to, like, pull my baby hairs back. Um and pull it as y'all see i have pulled some of it over and honestly i like i'm not gonna like pull it up but it's sticking so when i get under the dryer or if you don't have a dryer um so y'all see how it's coming up like that so i pull it and a lot of people have issues with their ear tabs too um but you want to keep your baby hairs out of the way because the glue can possibly like you see how that's being a little you know resistant so this process like I say you have to have patience so try to get her out of the way and pull her forward and then lay her down let me use my mirror real quick so I'm really like pulling her y'all I'm gonna get a better setup so that y'all can see what I'm doing like as I'm doing it but I'm really just pulling her forward and laying her down and then I feel like I feel like it's right in here. It's not like super flat. So I'm gonna take my fingers. And if you want, you can use some tweezers, but I'm gonna go like really gently and just pick off the little glue. And this is just maintenance, okay? So you start off with your Baby hair is back, I've learned that, because at first I have my baby hairs like forward. Then go ahead and like, have your baby hairs back. Go ahead and dry, make sure it the wig is adhered to your head again, and then go back in and do your baby hairs and all that good stuff, and then style it, and all that good stuff. So I'm about to go over here, handle my thing, do what I do, okay boo? Y'all see I have like a little alcohol on this cotton pad so I'm just gonna go in there and clean her up clean her up make her look cute boom Blitzky yeah see so all of that now we have to start the melting process all over again 
All right, now since my hair has been colored, I'm gonna go in and use hold up, the Pantene Pro V Hydrating Oil. And I'll let that penetrate as it dries. Cause I'm gonna be down the dryer. So what you do is put it in your hands, spread it out and use your fingertips Concentrating on the ends, like so, and then work your way up. Put your fingertips back in the palm of your hand to get more product. Because what you don't want to do is put it on your hands and then go onto your head because then you have a lot of product just in one spot and not the rest. So you want to use your fingers to pull it through. And this is my deep wave hair. So make sure y'all go over to charliebstyles.com and get your buns mm -hmm. So if I wanted to just wear it curly, honestly y'all, I would just put like some curl mousse or whatever. Um, and of course scrunch her up, probably tilt her over and blow dry her like that. And I don't know what I want to do today. Maybe I should, but I do have stuff to do and pictures that I want to take and looks that I want. So, I don't know. We shall see, says the line there. We shall see. And then let her get bigger. Dang, I'm wondering if I should just leave her like this for right now and twist her tonight. I don't know. Either way, I know I need to go ahead and do my makeup. We'll see. All right, y'all. So the way my life is set up, my little man needs to go get something to eat. I was going to sit under the dryer uh, when my hair twisted, but... As y'all can see, it is untwisted. And what I did was I just went ahead and laid my edges um, and put this on here while I did a little bit of my makeup. Now y'all see how it's a little light right there. We're gonna remedy that. We're gonna, you know, make her look a little better. So I'm gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me. Yep, Fit Me in the color 330. I'm gonna take my little brush. Cause you know, we gotta serve really up in this piece. On that part a little bit more. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Really sipping this piece. Uh oh. You all define that part a little bit more. Uh oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I gotta see where this little boy wants to go eat. And I used um, Got To Be on my ear tabs for the hair that's near my ear. And I just don't like that harsh look. So I'll see the difference 
between the sides. Like you can still have your little baby hair situation going on, but some people like this. It's to each his own. This is just my personal preference. My preference and what I like. That's what I think. That's what I think. This is the finished result for now. I'm gonna let her air dry tomorrow. I'm definitely gonna be curling her because I have somebody I need to see and I wanna be cute when I go out with her. So yeah, comment down below and let me know how y'all feel about this video. If you want more videos like this, let me know and make sure y'all check out my description box. This month we are pushing hard. So I want y'all to go check out the other ladies that I'm pushing through it. The other queens that I'm uplifting, you need a team. Look in that description box, check it out. And don't forget about um, my, what is it? Brain, brain freeze, brain freeze. Don't forget about my giveaway. In order to have a chance to win, go to the giveaway video, find out what the rules are, make it happen. I'm announcing the winner on August 15th. All right, y'all. Thank you. Oh, I kind of like her. Like,